Coffee, madam? Coffee, sir? Well, it happens to all of us, doesn't it? The flight attendants coming down, wheeling their trolleys and making you stay in your seat while you're doing it. But there's science behind the trolleys as well. And I'm here with Carita, a Dutch company manufacturing in China. Jamie, tell us about your trolleys. Uh, well, the lightweight trolleys, uh, standard Atlas trolleys. We do a full range of different equipment for on board the aircraft for the airlines. Um, all our trolleys are uh, of, uh, you know, manufactured in China. So um, we're now one of the larger manufacturers and dealing with many of the airlines worldwide um, and have a range of you know, standard lightweight trolleys. Now, I notice these trolleys are still metal. Uh, there's been a lot of movements in the uh, aerospace industry to move to composites and so on. Do you see yourselves doing something like that? Um, we may do in the future. Um, it depends. Materials, composites, uh, composites etc., are quite expensive materials. So when you start adding expensive materials to a trolley, you know it makes the trolley you know, uh, maybe lighter but much more expensive. So we've concentrated really on traditional materials, very strong aluminium materials, and, and we've reduced the, the, the weight a lot. Um, uh, there's not a huge difference in, in the weights anymore, but um, aluminium is recognized as being a very strong, durable trolley. The trolleys themselves um, have to be durable. Many of the airlines now want something that's going to last the test of time, that's going to do the job for them, uh, that needs to be lightweight, but at the same time it's got to be maneuverable and robust. Um, and we just feel that staying with more traditional aluminium strong materials is, is, is for the moment how we're moving. We may well move into others, but it depends if those materials can, can, can really still give us a competitive trolley, then it's always something they're open to. And what about innovation then? Where, where are you going to in the future? Or are you just going to carry on doing what you're doing successfully? Um, well, to be honest with you, it, it depends on how the market is. What we've seen is many of the airlines now want to try and take trolleys and, and really take advantage of, of, of reducing the cost on board of different items, like, for example, dry ice. So thermal insulation, getting the trolley to not necessarily to be much more lighter, but um, have a, a higher level of thermal insulation to keep temperatures lower for much longer, trying to avoid the use of additional dry ice all the time for cooling, uh, trying to avoid necessarily always having chill events and, 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 and having chillers on board, which is expensive. Um, so one of the innovations we're, we're looking at in the future and we continue to design is to, is to offer trolleys that offer a higher level of insulation, um, much more thermal and better, better insulation properties so that they, you know, they, they remain cooler for much, much longer without affecting the weight of the trolley if we can and, and using materials that increase cost. Great. Jamie, thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. More tea, madam?